beginning of the cooperation of the dance, Shadows Dance Theatre and the Fortress of Culture dated back in 2014 when I uh, was invited to uh, be part of the, attend the, the, the program of the, uh, the opening ceremony. And that's, uh, that was the moment that I remember when I was watching the beautiful sunset here and the uh, phenomenal program that the Fortress of Culture uh, team, young team of the great professionals prepared for that evening. And then uh, I, I came to idea to uh, bring the festival, to dance festival here. I was sitting in this auditorium enjoying the program and soon after I went to the uh, fortress management and uh, proposed them the idea which I must be honest at the beginning they were uh, very cautious to accept you know and careful they uh, and undoubtedly they were right because uh, at that time the contemporary uh, art especially the dance was not a profitable profitable industry so they had to take care how to fulfill this auditorium you know how to make it profitable but Nevertheless, they really did give me the chance. They believed in my expertise and since then only the top quality professional programs are welcomed here on this stage. It really here didn't exist anything uh, except the our national house, the national theater, with a kind of a formal program, you know, for the older audience. We still have, though, the International Children's Festival, but again, the program is intended only for children from 5 to 12, 11. But the huge part of our local audience uh, was uh, left without their program. For example, teenagers or young adults. And with the arrival of the audience and uh, their contribution to the cultural uh, and, and the entertainment scene, the, our young people really got the program and the content uh, of what they could do and enjoy in. Uh, they did a lot and the thing that I really appreciate them for is they, they all, uh, all the time they communicate with local organizations and the organization, the national level, constantly searching to, uh, how to uh, make them better, how to pro professional uh, themselves even more. Um, of course, there, there are and the, the very successful projects with the European Union funding that, that, that they did. So um, I'm really, I think that really we have the pearl with, in our town with this organization. looking forward to it, especially because I know that uh, it was given to the very good and safe hands of the Fortress of Culture. Uh, I'm not talking uh, in this way because I uh, want to give them credits, you know, but because I have been following the work they did, not only uh, related to the dance culture or to the festival that I am a director of, but related to everything they offer, the young children, to young people, to teenagers, to the adults, to the all the uh, groups and subgroups, the, the alternative groups of young uh, citizens of our, our town. So uh, I believe that the program they will choose there will be something close to that, you know, the program uh, which will uh, uh, be suitable to the name of the man after whom the Arsene House of Culture was uh, given uh, after, and it was the Arsene Dedic, our national, famous national poet. Uh, it will be intended for the young people who uh, want to use their brain to be critical thinkers, the young people who want to change our reality. <laughs> 